Lesson four, we're going to cover front chokes. Standard variation, two hands on the throat. I have between six to ten seconds to make a decision to get away before I lose airflow and lose cognitive decision-making ability. So what I'm going to do is make a U shape. First again, I need to establish a good base. And I'm going to tuck my head underneath in a U shape pattern. Again, keeping my shoulder between me and the attacker. So standard variation, he holds me really tight. And I have to do this, it doesn't work. I have to establish a good base. Under, U shape, always keeping my eye on my attack. Wall choke variation, if he's got me up against the wall, and there's an imaginary wall behind me, that doesn't work because I can't establish my base. So therefore, I'm gonna relax my hands, reach up, grab his fingers. I'm gonna isolate one finger, and inverted grip, down he goes. On this one, it's real important that we don't grab this way, but we invert our grip so that when we grab the fingers, we have more torque. If I grab this way, I don't have as much power. If I invert this way, I have a lot more power. The two weakest fingers are the pinky and the ring finger because they're furthest from the thumb. So those are one of the two that we want to grab. Again, if I'm up against the wall, I'm going to find whatever hand works for me. Find that finger, grab that finger, invert it, and down he goes. Lesson four, chokes.